Hey everybody, this is Perch. Um, I, I, people kept asking me to comment on this and I resisted because I just, I, I don't know, I'm all burned out of uh, various dramas and, and other things. So I, I was looking for a way to kind of have a, a take on this that wasn't the same take that a lot of other people have and, and also commenting uh, frankly, a lot less on the Twitter part of the drama and more on kind of the, the heart of the issue or, or the topic. So this is about uh, Neil Gaiman and Sandman. And Sandman is a, I mean, it's obviously a Vertigo title. And there's been uh, the original run and then there's been different iterations. There's one going on uh, basically right now by G. Willow Wilson kind of further expanding the dreaming universe. And it's one of those things that is, uh, it's part of DC's history. It's uh, it's kind of it's a shared universe, but it's a it's kind of a niche shared universe, uh, kind of in its own little pocket. Um, it, it in theory crosses over with DC, but doesn't. Uh, the, the, this is going to sound very ADD of me, but the part that kind of annoys me about Sandman in general right now is that it started out with Vertigo, and now they're publishing under Black Label, and I just I'm I'm I don't know why that annoys me, but it, it's Vertigo. That's what it should be. Full disclosure on Sandman. And this is going to be something that I know lots of people will disagree with, and that's okay. This is personal preference time. Um, to me, of the Vertigo titles, Sandman was actually one of my least favorite. I liked Vertigo as a line, uh, but I was far more enamored with Shade, the Changing Man. I think that was my my absolute favorite. I liked what Milligan was doing over there, the early Chris Bocklo. Um, I really liked Shade. That was the comic I, I just, I don't know, it, it hit with me. And then uh, I really liked what Grant Morrison did uh, and then Rachel Pollock kind of which became Vertigo on Doom Patrol. Um, I really liked that series. I liked the kind of the weirdness and, and the things they were playing with there. Uh, I like Swamp Thing. Uh, there, there are a handful of others in there uh, that I really enjoyed. Sandman was always the one where I felt uh, like the oddball in the room because Sandman was doing really, really well. And, and everybody was very excited about that. And everybody's wearing that death T-shirt. I think I still have that original death t-shirt, uh, the, the, um, Chris Bocklow from the death, the high cost of living image, um, that like everybody was wearing for a period of time. Uh, but it, that was always the popular one. And then I'm sitting there with my, you know, shade, the changing man, uh, comic. And I was just enjoying that. And that was, that's just me. Um, and I'm not saying that I'm that nothing in this is saying Sandman is bad or I, I, I never liked the Sandman or anything like that. I see people posting that right now, but no, it was fine as a comic. It was just, uh, it was one of those cases where that's the one that everybody gravitated to. And to me, that was my least favorite. Um, I, I have, I have neutral feelings to Neil Gaiman. I like Stardust a lot. Uh, I've liked some of his books. Others feels, um, I, I mean, I always hate it again, personal preference. I hate it when you can read an author's style through the pages. Um, Stephen King got really bad at this uh, at one point where you, you had the voice of Stephen King started to overpower the book. And if you like that voice, then it works for you. Um, it's the same way I feel about Bendis right now. You, there's, there's an element of Bendis you get in every book he does that starts to eclipse the actual comic that you're reading. And that's, that's always, you know, frustrating to me, or it's, I, 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 I get turned off by that in terms of a reader. Uh, I, I think some people, others do and others don't notice. And it's, you know, it's everybody different mileage, but at any rate, that's, that's kind of how I feel about Sandman. It was never my most favorite kind of series. Um, what's interesting about Sandman is I think that some people, I think that that a decent amount of fans today, or the people who talk about Sandman, read that that li Death Limited series book um, by by Gaiman and, and Bacalo. They read a couple issues of Sandman, but I I I don't think a lot of people, both people who profess to love it and hate it, actually read through the entire run. And I think <clears throat> some of that comes out in the comments that kind of erupted over the last week. So um, they're getting ready to do a Sandman on uh, Netflix. And this is a case where, uh, it, again, it's going to sound crazy, I know, to people, but I'm just I'm telling you how I feel from my perspective. Um, I don't know that I care too much um, about the series. I, I'm very excited by the, uh, the, the Miller World stuff. Um, I'm shocked and, and disappointed 
by the Jupiter's legacy news that they're not continuing with the season two. That was, that came out of nowhere for me. And I, I really wanted to see that story continue. Um, I like the umbrella Academy. I like lock and key a lot on Netflix. I'll probably be interested in seeing sweet tooth when that comes out. Sandman was like not on my list of things I was looking forward to on Netflix. So, um, you know, it's like, eh, I don't know that I want to see that adaptation by the way, uh, to, to just be, again, completely clear about it, Netflix is still proceeding with this live action One Piece series. I don't want to see that. I'll be, I'll just be honest. I, I don't, I don't want this to exist. Everybody can do whatever they want. They can make their own things. And I'm sure some people will enjoy it, but I mean, like, I'm not going to be rushing to watch that. I just feel like that's going to hurt. I, I like the animated, you know, the anime of, of One Piece. I'm good. I, I don't need to see some of these adaptations. Um, but you know, be that as it may. So the Sandman's getting uh, brought to Netflix and they've been announcing casting. And there seemed to be like two things which got people riled up. The first is they showed this uh, cast list and they used pronouns under the, the name. And that seemed to kind of get people uh, annoyed. Um, to me, it was it was somewhat eye rolling. I, I, I talked about pronouns in the past. Again, it's your party. If you want to use pronouns, you can. Um, if you ask me to use your pronouns, I'll use them because I'm respectful to you as a human being. Uh, I don't put pronouns in my bio because I don't care, honestly, what people call me. And, <laughs> and so it uh, when you see it on a casting list like that, it, 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 it feels it's hard to describe. It just feels like more marketing than, than genuine respect for people. Um, but again, that's my take and, and everybody, your mileage may vary, but anyway, that seemed to annoy people. And then they announced, uh, the, the casting for, uh, death. And this is where, uh, things seem to go, uh, really kind of, I guess, sideways on social media. So, um, they cast death and, and, and desire, um, so desire is a, was cast as a non-binary character. Now here's the, the weird part about desire is I'm, I'm relatively certain. And, uh, I see people saying this online. I, I would like to just go back and look at the comics for myself, but I believe desire was a non-binary character all along. I, I don't, I think that that's actually accurate casting based on the, uh, based on the comic desire was always kind of portrayed in that way. Um, so I, I don't think that that quite I, 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 that one confuses me a little bit. Um, Kirby Howell, uh, Baptiste, uh, who is a, a black actress was cast as, uh, as death. And this is an area where, uh, people are, uh, are very angry, uh, because the actress, uh, looks very different from death. Um, you know, in fairness, death has been portrayed in the comics in multiple different forms, different races, I, I believe was an alien at one point. So I, I, and then death as a character is this chalk white, like, like not, not white, like white person, but literally white, uh, you know, full on kind of goth kind of look, which is kind of the, the style, probably the most recognizable style. And this is an area where I feel like, uh, I feel like a lot of this, this irritation and pain would have been avoided with like one simple different sentence. And it, I don't, I don't know what you do on desire. Cause again, I desire, uh, desire, I think is cast as the comic was, I, I was written. So that one's, that one's a little bit weird, but with death, um, there was this incredulous response from in particular, Neil Gaiman and others saying things like, uh, I, why are people complaining about this? Um, people should love death for who she was, the person I wrote. Uh, I'm astonished to find that for some people, what they thought was, what they thought she was, was a white woman and just a white woman. And this is an area where, again, I, I get if you wrote this book and you had to show up in other forms, and at the end of the day, this is a Netflix live action adaptation of a comic book. I mean, like the, the things are, people are doing different things all the time. But here's where one sentence would have been like, it, it's this, I'm astonished to find that some people, they thought she was a white woman, but are you though? This is where I, I just, again, this is a lot of, this is probably, I think what irritate, irritates people is when you say things like that, because to a lot of people, 
um, they have not read all the comics. They've seen the t-shirt. They've seen the posters. They read the, uh, they see the graphic novel, this goth looking death character that looks a very specific way. And even though, yes, death was represented with different races and aliens and other things, um, the, the most common representation that the comics did was this, this, you know, almost iconic Chris Bacolo death image. Um, and, and so to go, I'm astonished that people were confused, you know, people are, do not want the movie adaption to look like the comic. Um, and then there's some inferral that some of these fans are, are racist and, and, you know, then Neil Gaiman goes very aggressively on the offensive with the, I give all the fucks about this work. I give zero fucks about people who don't understand, haven't read Sandman whining about non-binary desire that death isn't white, white enough. Um, that's the, the line that is it's like that's the incredulous line it's like if this image is portrayed of this character all over the place it's not an unreasonable crazy uh racist comment to say hey why doesn't this tv show look more like the comics because even neil gaiman himself uh commented i guess a year or two ago about you know fans are going to be upset if the the adaptation of the comic looks different um, that's normal behavior. Now, now fans who are kind of losing their minds and screaming about it. I mean, that's, that's too upset that that's where you're, you've lost the plot to some extent, but it is not a crazy wacky. I can't even believe that some fans would be upset that the character doesn't look like the most common representation of the character in the media. That's, that's normal. That's normal behavior. And I, I don't think that means they have to change their approach. I don't think that means they need to cast a white woman or any of that. I just think you could respond to this by saying, yeah, I get that a lot of fans are used to seeing the Chris Bacalo version of death. Of course they are. Uh, that's the one that's most popular. It's the one DC has sold posters and comics and, and, and trade paperbacks and t-shirts and everything else and, and figures and statues. That's the most common view. And this is a different look. So we, 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 I totally understand that, you know, some people might be confused, uh, but I'm not going to be a big gatekeeper and say, you have to read all the comics in order to have this broader perspective. Cause we know all people are not reading all the comics and uh, check out the show. In fact, the last line, watch the show, make up your minds. Nothing wrong with that. That's a, that's a completely normal uh, statement, but to use the defense of, I am shocked that people are are upset that the character does not look like the character in the comics. I mean, like, no, you're not, you're, you're not shocked that that's a, that's a, that's a silly kind of defense and it's an unnecessary one. Again, I, I think you have the, the, in theory, you have the moral high ground to say, Hey, death appears in many different forms in the comics. You know, some of you might not have read that stuff. No worries. Not everybody reads everything. And, um, you know, and, and just check out the show. I think you'll be happy with what we did. That's that, that would work. Um, I understand, I completely understand why it's hard to keep your coal when people are shouting at you. I, I totally, of course, of course it is, but, um, you should try to, <laughs> it doesn't mean you're always successful, but you should try. And I think that it, it, it becomes this arms race of outrage where, some people are angry. And, and again, some people, uh, definitely came in hot with the, the fuck is this? Seriously, what is this? You know, you fucked up once again. None of you can do anything right. I mean, that's definitely an aggressive tone. Absolutely. Somebody coming at you with that, that's definitely a uh, person looking for a fight. But the solution is not to immediately start punching back. That That is that, especially when you don't need to. And, and that's where it feels like this entire thing just becomes, it becomes a controversy. And so now, uh, unfortunately, and, and this is what hopefully the people at Netflix are thinking who just want to put out a goddamn show and not think about the rest of this stuff. That's all they care about. They just want to put the material out and make some money and call it a day. And if and DC wants to continue to sell statues and t-shirts and in theory, I'm, I'm sure Neil Gaiman wants to continue writing books. It's, it's, I, I've done these other videos on empathy and, and people really struggle with this concept. You know, how, why am I supposed to be empathetic? to somebody who's screaming at me and I, I, I'm with you. It sucks when somebody's screaming at me when I, I fail on that all the time, but it's worth trying because in a lot of cases, these things could be deescalated easily. And especially with the Sandman case, it's like, 
you know, there, there's, there are examples of the character appearing other ways in the comics. There, there are. But at the same time, let's not pretend that 99% of all the imagery of this uh, character isn't this goth, pasty white, uh, you know, pasty white character. That's, that's, that's what, that's what happens. Um, uh, I, even though I'm butchering the last name, Kirby Hall, uh, Baptiste, uh, is an absolutely a good actress. Uh, she was in the good place. Um, she was fun in that show. I think she absolutely can bring the right level of sarcasm and and uh, and chops to this role. So I, I think she'll be fine. And and again, I I think this is a case where, um, you know, I it, it, this is a case where it didn't need to happen. This none of this needed to happen. You know, in the weirdest way. And I know I'm just saying a lot of things that are just pissing off both camps because I'm not hardcore on one. I'm not hardcore on the other. And I'll get all the same bullshit fence sitting comments. I'm just telling you how it is uh, from my perspective. Um, I, I'm not terribly interested in this show long before any of this casting. Like, as I said, this wasn't a comic book I particularly loved. Um, Kirby, uh, the, the actress who's playing death. Um, I really did like her in the good place. And weirdly, she would be one of the reasons to watch the show for me. <laughs> so um, that's that's how crazy it all is. But anyway, um, eh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, eh, internet drama. What are you going to do? Um, I, I just I hate I hate seeing this stuff that feels like it could very easily be avoided. And this one feels like a very easy to avoid. Uh, I don't know. Anyway. Uh, what do you think? Are you watching Sandman? Are you not watching it? Uh, do you care one way or another? Let me know in the comments below and thanks for listening.